everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I wanted to hop on and talk to you guys. I just got out of a really powerful prayer time with God and share a vision um, that he gave me that I could tell was not just for me, but it was for a lot of people. And um, it's pretty simple and it's got a simple explanation, but it was really powerful for me and I hope it ministers to you guys too. So in the vision, it was this vision of this old room that was filled with a bunch of very old looking books, like the really pretty ones that have like, you know, the gold rimmed paper and the hardbacks that are really, you know, intricate and, you know, cool looking kind of like history books or library books or whatever. Um, and so this whole room was uh, like an archive room. Like it was a room where old um, books were stored kind of a thing. Um, and it was a room that had a lot of dust. Um, it had like some cobwebs on the walls. You could tell it was a room that um, people had not been in in quite a while kind of a thing. And these gigantic books were being held in this room and these books had a history in them. Um, and I'll go into that more in a second, but I wanna tell you the rest of the vision. So in this vision, this guy walked into this room and pulled this really thick, fancy looking book off of one of the shelves and it was covered up in dust and you know just um had been untouched for quite a while kind of a thing and he opened up he he grabbed this huge book um and he you know kind of plopped it down on this wooden table and opened it up um to the middle of this book kind of a thing and the book was covered in like it was uh, untouched for so long it was like covered in the sawdust and you know um, just, you know, all this kind of residue because it had been untouched for a while. And the book um, contains kind of a history of someone's life. It contains, um, you know, past events that had happened to this person or whatever, but it also contained promises from the Lord, um, a lot of which had not come to pass yet in this person's life. And it also contained, um, you know, like, um, specific desires of people's hearts that they had lifted up to the Lord in a past season that had not yet come to pass. And um, so it's like this book had been kind of put on the shelf for a little bit. You know, it was a season where it was a waiting season where it wasn't time for these things to come to pass. And so it was archived away, quote unquote. It was put in this room for safekeeping or whatever. And now suddenly it was the time this guy was coming and pulling the book and going to this specific section and, you know, was looking at these reminders and these reminders um, were being brought to the surface again for a specific purpose. Um, and so here's the interpretation of this. Um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll give you just a brief synopsis of what God was talking to me about. There has been a season for a lot of people where um, you've asked God for some things in your past and you have, um, you know, expressed desires of your heart. He's promised you some things or whatever, and it wasn't the right time for those things yet. You know, um, they were kind of archived away, so to speak, for safekeeping. Um, they were included with a part of your history, quote unquote, and you just assumed that those things had died. You assumed that those things were probably, you know, they may or may not come to pass or whatever, or you knew it wasn't time for them. You believed God for those things, but you knew that it wasn't the right season. And so you just kind of out of sight, out of mind, maybe you really wanted those things or whatever, um, but you just kind of let those get archived away for a season kind of a thing. Um, the interpretation of this vision is God is pulling some of those things back, you know, so that he can fulfill them in your life in this season. Amen. Some of those archived promises, you know, some of those desires of your heart. I very strongly got the impression too in this vision that there were prayers that you don't even remember praying, but God remembers that you prayed of specific things that were desires of your heart that God is pulling off the shelf quote unquote, so to speak, he's dusting off the book. He's dusting off those things that you thought he had forgotten about, but he has not forgotten about those things in your life. And he is opening the books, quote unquote, um, to prove, and he's saying, I'm faithful. You know, these things that you thought may have never come to pass in your life, these things that, um, you know, you didn't see happening anytime soon, or maybe you just got weary and tired of waiting. God was saying, I'm dusting off the book right now for a reason. I'm pulling these things into your mind for remembrance for a reason because I'm faithful and I'm going to do it. Amen. 
You know, I think it's so beautiful that God remembers our prayers. He remembers those things um, that we have lifted up to him even in past seasons. You know, he remembers the promises that he's made us. And for a lot of you guys, you know, weariness, discouragement might have tried to set in. And maybe, you know, you thought that God has forgotten about some of the promises that he's promised you. Or maybe he, you know, maybe it's not really his will to fulfill some of those prayers that you prayed back in the day. You know, that were desires of your heart. Now, God's a good God, ladies and gents. And so um, God is saying with this vision that this is the season where some of these things that have been archived because either it wasn't the right time yet or, um, you know, it just it wasn't the right season or the enemy came in or whatever, things that have not yet been able to come to pass in your life. God is opening up the books again. This is a season for a lot of you guys where God is going to start dusting that stuff off and where he is purposefully bringing it back up again. He's pulling it out of the archives and going, you know what? You may have forgotten about this, but I didn't forget about this in your life. And God just wants to remind you that he's faithful and he wants to remind you to get your hopes up tonight. Amen. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll chat with you again soon.